All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just going to be honest, this first beat I got here is pretty hot, so we're going to get into it. I started out right here with these drums. It's kind of what the programming looks like. Now, if you listen closely, the second layer snare that I have here... That is actually a sampled snare from a real song. It's sampled from the Weeknd's cover of Michael Jackson's Dirty Diana. So, I can't actually like release this song, you know, if I wanted to because it's using a sample, but you know, it's hard to find it's hard to find good sounds. But I actually got pretty lucky with this sample pack here. All Four of the main instruments that aren't percussion are from the same sample pack, which is the Wandering Mind in Arcade. I pitched it down two semitones and gave each of the individual tracks its own effects and stuff. So that's how I ended up with this bass. You know, it's really thick, it's really distorted, and... I don't really do too much mixing usually on these songs just because I'm trying to get just an idea down. If I think it's a good idea, I save it. If I don't, I just move on. But yeah, just a little bit of distortion as well as an EQ. I'm not really sure about any of that stuff as far as like the proper techniques. Keep in mind, I've only been doing this like for three months. So... Yeah, that being said, this guitar right here. I thought it was just a really good vibe, and then there's a B section guitar too here on the bridge. And this synth layer on the chorus just to uh, give it a little bit more texture and just make a bigger sound. So it just kind of gives that stab and the punch on the chorus. I've also got a few effects down here. Not effects. What are they called? Transitions. Just to make the drop hit a little bit harder. And there's a nice little intro I thought was cool. And as far as the song itself, it's kind of like the idea that I had that I wanted to do was like an EDM drop, but with R&B style drums. Songs that I had in mind, I was thinking of, oh, what's that song on the charts right now? In the middle of the night, yeah, middle of the night, I was thinking of that. I was also thinking of The Hills by The Weeknd and You Should See Me in a Crown by Billie Eilish. You know, as far as like a, a drop, but it being R&B style percussion. And then I've got this little build up here. just to kind of lead into it and I think it all came together really well I think this was a solid track so let me know what you think about it
So I decided to cut the making of this one a little short just because I wasn't really feeling it. I, I didn't really think this was too good. The drums were decent, but the, uh, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling the sample and it was the best sample I could find. So, yeah, it just is what it is. I guess we could go over these drums. This is the pattern. I used a Kendrick Lamar drum kit to get pretty much all the sounds, even the bass, which comes from an 808. I like doing these triplet rolls on the kick. I actually prefer doing rolls on the kick over doing rolls on the snare, but we still have a few just to give it a little bit more movement as well as snare fills. I think it's, yeah, like I said, I think it's solid drums, but I don't know. I just couldn't get the sample right. I wanted to do some kind of like a psychedelic hip hop thing. So there's just like these really reverby guitars. And then the synth. And that's just kind of there to give it a chorus. But, you know, like I said, I just, I wasn't really feeling anything with it. I wasn't hearing anything too amazing. So I'm just going to cut it right here and move on to the next one. third beat for today I came into this one I wanted to do something with no drums but I for a while was trying to pick a sample and I just could not find anything that I thought would sound good on its own without me doing any drums over it and then I came across a sample that made me think okay, like, I, I can do something with this. And this ended up being a really interesting song. It sounds... Here, I'll just play some of these parts for you. This is, like, the lead synth. We have a guitar as well. A counter melody for the lead. This is just for some body. Makes the chorus a little bit bigger and then of course the bass. The drums have two different sections. This one And this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, to me, this sounds like an early 2010s radio pop song. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you like the video, if you like this new kind of format of video where it's more of a track by track in the moment thing, let me know. Because if you don't as well, 
please let me know because this is a lot more difficult to make than my usual content. But let me know down in the comments. That being said, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.